It's warm and sunny at Sedgley, a perfect day to crush the field at the 2006 Philadelphia Open. Get ready to see how it all unfolds as... This is all we start Welcome to Disc Golf Monthly. I'm Matt Ott, and I'm here with John Dusler, and we're at the 2006 Philly Open. Now, this is the 29th year for this event, and John, I know for one, you're very excited to be here. Matt, I've been on the road the last few months with the national tour, and like they say, there's no place like home. This year's Philly Open is going to feature some great mid-Atlantic disc golfers, Steve Brinster, who's a touring pro, Joey Mila, world champion, as well as some great other talent. Well, John, welcome home, and let's see how all the golfers fared in today's round one recap. Representing in the junior division, we have Ty Matias finishing with an 80. And moving on to the women's division, we have Trish Mangan with a 71, as she is tied for first place with Sandal Parrish, who also has a 71. Emily Ganter is in second with 78, while tied for third is Kit Bassett and Lee Armelay, both with an 83. Finishing in the pro women's division, we have Leslie DeMarc with a 61, Linda Fowler has a 77, and Mary Redhart has a 79. And in the Legends division, we have Paul Kelly out in front with a 62, while struggling to catch up is Jerome Burnham with a 71. The GOAT himself, Paul Fine, has a 75, while coming all the way up from Camp Hill is Don Dillon with a 78. In the Men's Master 1 division, we have Ed Mateus tied with Ryan Frederick with a 58. Lancaster golfer Bill Geibel is in second with a 59, who is tied with Scott Kendall. Jeff Boomer Moore is in third place with a 60. And here's a look how everyone else finished in the Men's Master 1 division. And in the Men's Pro Master division, we have a tie for first between Carlton Taylor and Ray Rogers, both with a 53. Robin Billick has a 54, and Barry Noche right behind him with a 55, while Nick Kite following with a 56. And here's a look how everyone else finished in the Pro Master division. And moving over to the men's intermediate amateur division, we have Don Clampos with a 63, Sam Warwick has a 65, Mark Parrish has a 66. And for fourth place, we have a tie between John McGinley and Michael Jew, who both finished with a 67. And let's see how everyone else made out in the intermediate amateur division. And in the advanced am division, we have Nathan Cron with a 54. Close behind and tied for second is Tim Ganada and Josh Winner, both with a 56. We also have a tie for third place between Aaron Stein and Eric May, both have a 57. And here's a look how everyone else finished in the advanced AM division. And moving on to the men's open division, out in front by five strokes is Steve Brinster with a 45. Right behind is Joe Maley with a 50. Matt Lowe has a 51 and is in third place, while John DeBoyce and Nick Schneider both finished fourth tied with a 53. And that wraps it up for this month's Round 1 Recap. Well, that was some good shooting that round. John, it appears we have quite the battle brewing. I'll tell you what, Steve Brinster shot a 45. That's a new course record. Joey Meal is there, but it's the young bucks, Matt Lowe, John DeBois, and Nick Schneider that are nipping at their heels. Well, John, I'm excited to see how this whole thing unfolds. We'll be back with round two action after this commercial break. <laughs> 